This is the fifth Wednesday of Easter, and uh, we're having morning prayer on page 80 in the prayer book. Um, come on. Ooh, I just lost one of my things. Okay. Um, page 80. Um, Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Um, you have risen indeed. Come, let us adore you. Come, <clears throat> let's do Pasha Nostrum. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Lord, being raised from the dead, I will never die again. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Alleluia. And Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Okay. And our... Psalm for today is Psalm 72, up, up in praise of the King of Israel. Give the King your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the King's Son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes uh, shall bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall pay tribute and the kings of Arabia and Saba, Saba rather, offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him and all the nations do him service, for he shall deliver the poor who cry out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on, on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight." Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hillsides. May its fruits flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like the grass from the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures, May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. And our reading is from Leviticus. Yes, Leviticus. And the Lord said, spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people, 
of Israel and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. You shall each uh, revere your mother and your father, and you shall keep my Sabbath. I am the Lord, your God. Do not turn to idols or make cast images for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. When you offer a sacrifice of well-being to the Lord, offer it in such a way that it is acceptable in your on your behalf. Uh, to It shall be eaten on the same day you offer it, and on the next day, and anything left over until the third day shall be consumed in the fire. If it is eaten at all on the third day, it is an abomination. It will not be acceptable. All who eat it shall be subject to punishment because they have profaned what is holy to the Lord, and any such person shall be cut off from the people. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap to the very edges of your field, or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall not strip your vineyard bare, or gather the uh, fallen grapes um, of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and the alien. I am the Lord your God. You shall not steal. You shall not deal falsely. You shall not lie to one another, and you shall not swear falsely by my name, profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud your neighbor. You shall not steal. You shall not keep for yourself the wages of labor and until morning. You shall not revile the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not render an unjust judgment you shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. With justice you shall uh, judge your neighbor. You shall not go you shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not uh, profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart anyone of your kin, you shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Okay, so a, a more specific rehash of the of the Ten Commandments. Our first canticle is uh, Serge Illuminare, which is on canticle 11 on page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has, has come. The glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land. Deep gloom enshrouds the people. Uh, but over you, the Lord will rise, and God's glory will appear upon you. The nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You shall call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, continuing in the... Um, sixth chapter. Jesus said, Do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth where moth and rust consume and where uh, thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven 
where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Here ends the reading. Our second canticle is um, Benedictus Dominus Deus, 16 on page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. God has come to God's people and set them free. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through God's holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember God's holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the, the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the for forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall uh, break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Apostles' Creed on 96. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our uh, colic for today is the colic for the fifth Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that, he may steadfast, that we may steadfastly follow in his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. 
And our colic for today is a colic for grace. Lord God, almighty, everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A colic for mission, almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we pray for the dead, especially those who have died in this time of pandemic of the coronavirus, COVID-19. And we pray for all those who are ministering to them in this time of isolation and separation. Pray for Johnny and Anne and Eric, I, for um, Andrea and Sally and and all those we know who are ill. We pray for those who are ill. Um, And we give thanks for uh, the persistence that is within us. We have been, it's been a long time of waiting and it's not easy to wait. Um, but we are called upon to wait upon the Lord and so we wait. Um, and we give thanks in that time, give thanks for God's blessings. And the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. I hope you will have a blessed day today. And uh, for those of you who are from St. Peter in Harrisonville, we will be having in-person worship on Sunday at 9.30. Um, it will be a communion service. Of course, bring your uh, masks, and um, there will be uh, uh, things to, um, to stay distant and, um, and to watch over each other. Anyway, blessings to you. Have a good day.